Well, as LA County starts to require masks for all indoor and outdoor events, a major theater marks its comeback tonight. The Pantages will once again host the hit musical Hamilton. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live at the theater in Hollywood where the excitement is building along with concerns over safety, Candace. Good evening, Pat. Yeah, the show will finally go on. Uh, I want to give you a look behind me. It is still uh, kind of early, but I should mention that every guest must show proof of vaccination to get in, either their physical card or digital copy. You can have it on your phone. Now, tonight marks the second Hamilton production in the world to reopen. Check out this video. I'm past patiently waiting. I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action, not to creation. Now, tonight's show kicks off the National Hamilton Tour. You may recall the production was shut down just hours before its first performance last March when the pandemic hit. Hamilton tells the story of founding father Alexander Hamilton. It's wildly popular for combining hip-hop, blues, jazz, and more, and is the story of America then as told as America now. Now, the theater has made a, quite a few changes to be able to provide guests with a safe experience. Here's some more video that we just shot from inside. As we mentioned, a vaccination proof is required to get in. Everyone must wear a mask inside, and there are signs posted all over. Upgrades also include hand sanitizer stations all throughout, better air filters, and a touchless ticket system. Now, I just spoke to the theater's general manager who said all cast members and staff are vaccinated as well, and he said everyone is thrilled about opening night. After 523 days of an extended intermission, we actually get to open our doors for the first time tonight. And I have to tell you, the whole staff, the cast, the crew, everybody is uh, electric. And back out here live, you can see a few people at the ticket counter. I'm told that a few seats are still available, but uh, ultimately it's going to be a packed house when the show starts at 8 o'clock this evening. If you didn't score a ticket for tonight's show, there are plenty left as the show runs through January 2nd. We're live in Hollywood, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Candace.